test failure criteria for test metrics and key performance indicators are an inherent part of performance test since they ensure your product is performing as per the requirements. You can monitor the failure criteria manually to check if the metrics you want to measure have breached your threshold. However, this may be a time consuming and effort intensive exercise. You can use the Taurus pass or fail module to automate this process. If any of your tests meet the threshold criteria set by you, it will fail automatically and you will also be notified in the report and logs. Taurus uses the shell executor service module that enables you to divide your test script into different logical steps and set your desired pre or post test actions in a single configuration file. In this video, we will see how to write a simple YAML script, how to set the pass or fail criteria and the pre or post test actions in the YAML script. Execute it using Taurus and view the results in Taurus console for better analysis. We are going to see how to configure pass fail criteria and uh, pre post actions in case if it fails or passes the criteria. So here is the Taurus uh, JMeter script written in YAML. So the execution settings are given. And it's the same thing as you have seen in other videos. And uh, I'm going to show you the pass file, pass fail criteria here. This is the pass fail criteria. So you can see that the average response time, if it is greater than 150 milliseconds for 10 seconds, then it should stop as fail. And if the failures of Blaze demo is greater than 20% for 10 seconds, it should continue as fail. Now, after that, it it should also execute the pre-post actions. So you can also execute the shell commands. So here I'm using Windows. So I'm giving commands like deleting the directory, that is uh, temp logs directory. So this uh, execution will create temp logs directory, and then it will write one into that example text two into the two will be appended into the example dot text and what time it shuts down so all these things will be written in the example dot txt file so i'm going to show you now how this script file have to be executed with all three yaml files let us go to command window so i give bzt so we will first choose the pass fail so pass fail config dot yaml and then we run the script that is stars underscore j meter underscore script for dot yaml and in uh, w underscore underscore pre post underscore actions dot yum by hitting enter we are going to execute this uh, file so it gets prepared and you can see that the shell command gets started so as pre action so that this gets deleted and it creates the temporary logs so yes uh, so it starts uh, and it has written those command and then it starts the Taurus uh, configuration window so you can see the console Taurus console where it gets executed it takes CPU 100% CPU time and then the memory and here we trace how many how many failures uh, so if it is uh, greater than 50 percentage for 10 seconds it will automatically close so that's what happened here so you can see 107 samples count and 71 percent failure uh, is recorded it terminates as failed then 
you can see that the starting shell command so all that are got executed here now we will see uh, the example dot txt file which got created in uh, dmp underscore logs directory slash example dot txt so you can see here those commands got executed so it has written one and it has appended two the shutdown time uh, whatever it has been mentioned over there got recorded so now we understood how to execute the shell commands with taurus we also executed the taurus script file and handle the error condition uh, based on the criteria so we have written the criteria as average response time and uh, failures are also failure percentage is also calculated and accordingly we decide whether it's failed or passed thank you for watching this video